Um, our reading this morning is uh, taken from First Kings, First Kings chapter seventeen, a very familiar passage of scripture, and I just needed us to uh, to uh, I just need to encourage, as I encourage you today uh, in the Lord, I encourage myself as well. So First Kings chapter seventeen is about. Um, uh, the woman of Zarephath, the widow of Zarephath. And uh, we begin by, um, um, we'll begin reading from um, 1 Kings chapter 17, verse 1. Um, Elijah, the Tishbite of the temporary residence of Gilead. Um, you know, God had called um um, God had called Elijah the prophet, you know, when there's something to be dealt with amongst God's people, uh, God will, uh, God will single out, single out a man, single out a woman um, to, to, to carry the message, to take the message and to, um, to be God's representative in that area. So here, Elijah comes onto the scene. Elijah was a uh, Tishbite. He, he originated from a city, a town called Tishbe. And, um, and the Lord said to, um, to um, God was aware of what was happening in the land and he was concerned. He was very disappointed. He was angry. And so um, God said to Elijah, go to King Ahab, go to King Ahab and tell him that there will not be rain in the land, not for days, not for weeks, not for months, but for years. And you will find that in, uh, in verse one. And then the word of the Lord um, comes to Elijah. The word of the Lord comes to Elijah. And, and one thing I'd like to share here, uh, very important is that we need to hear from God every day. We need to hear from God before we go to work, before we step out of the house, before we go to minister, before we enter into ministry, before we do anything. Praise the Lord. We need to hear from God. And here we learn that, that um, Elijah was one man, one prophet who was very attentive, very alert in the things of God. He heard the word of the Lord as God spoke to him. Praise the Lord. And the word of the Lord came to him saying, go from here after he had presented himself to Ahab and told Ahab the message, the powerful message that God had relayed to him. He had done that. He did it well. God said to him, go from here. The word of the Lord came to him very clearly, very specific instructions, very specific directives. The word of the Lord is always, always clear. Praise the Lord. Always clear. And God says to, to Elijah, go from here and turn east and hide yourself by the brook called Cherif, east of the Jordan. All those instructions. And what does uh, Elijah do? Um, sorry, he says, you shall drink of the brook and I have commanded the ravens to, to feed you there. So brook, fresh water, organic water, no chemicals, and all reserved for the man of God. And also ravens, ravens in the morning, ravens in the evening, bringing food to him, fresh food. Uh, verse five says, so he did according to the word of the Lord. Our topic this morning is trust and obey. Trust and obey. So what does Elijah do? He trusts God. He hears the voice of the Lord and he determines within his heart that he is going to obey. Praise the Lord. He went and dwelt by the brook east of the Jordan and the ravens brought him bread and flesh in the morning and bread and flesh in the evening and he drank by the brook. Praise the Lord. When we obey God, when we listen intently, when we listen well and we hear the voice of God and we can differentiate who is speaking and we know and we understand without a shadow of, the, of doubt that this is the voice of God. This is what he is telling me to do. This is what he wants me to do. This is um, what he wants me to know. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, God's provision is guaranteed. Praise the Lord. God's provision is guaranteed when we learn to trust 
and when we learn to obey and when we learn to rest in the word and in the will of God. Praise the Lord. So without fail, in the morning and in the evening, he got his sandwich, a sandwich in the morning, sandwich in the evening, and clear crystal water to drink. He did not have to worry. He did not have to go in search of food. He did not have to look for water in the wilderness. He did not have to search for a spring. Praise the Lord. And that those are the rewards for those who trust and who obey God. Praise the Lord. May God help us this morning. For those of you who are listening to me and for me, myself and my family, this is what we need to learn as well, to listen, to trust, and to obey. Praise the Lord. After a while, the brook dried up because because there was a famine and he was affected too. Just as there's a pandemic, there's a there's corona in Fiji and the, the virus has affected many families. The, the heathen and the believer are like the Christians and the unbeliever, praise the Lord. But the word of God is, is wonderful because the word of God ministers to everyone, to everyone for, for you and I who have chosen to surrender our lives to Jesus and those of us who have chosen to trust and to obey the word of the Lord. The brook dries up. up. Verse 8 says, and the word of the Lord came to him. So the word of the Lord came to him yet again. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And what does he do? The word of the word says, the word of the Lord said to, to Elijah, arise, go to Zarephath which belongs to Sidon, and dwell there. Behold, I have commanded a widow there to provide for you. What does Elijah do? He trusts and he obeys. He listens, he trusts, and he obeys. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And, um, and one thing that I'm amazed, amazed about, I'm totally amazed about in this, in this lesson is one that God should choose a raven to bring his meals every day. And secondly, that God should command a widow. In Deuteronomy chapter 14, um, God talks about the ravens, that his people will not touch and will not feed on ravens. They will not eat ravens because they were a filthy bird. But then, you know, God will take things that, you know, things that we have ruled out altogether, like a widow. You know that widows are dependent on family members. Widows have no spouses. They don't have, uh, most times widows are elderly women and they need assistance. They need help, praise the Lord. But God uses, you know, whoever he chooses. God chose a raven and God chose to use this, to choose this, um, sorry. God chose to use this widow. So he says, I have commanded a widow there to provide for you. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. So he arose and went to Zarephath, and when he came to the gate of the city, behold, a widow was arrived there. He notices, there, there, and sure enough, this was the lady that God had commanded to welcome his servant into, into Zarephath, praise the Lord. And he says to her, and he says to her, bring me a little water in a vessel that I may drink. And as she was going to get it, he called to her and said, bring me a morsel of bread in your hand. And she said, as the Lord your God lives, I have not a loaf baked, but only a handful of meal in a jar and a little oil in the bottle. See, I'm gathering two sticks that I may go in and bake it for me and my son that we may eat it and die. This lady was very honest. She did not hide anything. She knew at first glance that this was the man of God, praise the Lord. And in this time and in this, the middle of this global pandemic, you know, people are looking out for godly men and women like you and I, men and women of the word of God, Faithful men and women, people are crying out for help. People are crying out for, for prayers. People are crying out for the word. People are crying out for assistance. Praise the Lord. I hope and I pray and I trust God this morning that God is going to use us in the world today, wherever we are, whether we are in Fiji or in the United States or in Australia, New Zealand, in the Pacific, or whether you live in the highlands or in the islands, that people will see us 
and see the Christ that lives in us in Jesus' name. She says to him, bring me a morsel of bread. Bring While you bring me that cup of water, bring me something to eat as well. Whilst we serve, whilst we minister, there's, you know, we get tired when we run out of energy and we, and we long for just a, a few moments, you know, just to, to rest, just to chill, praise the Lord. And I know that, you know, most of us, if not all of us, are feeling like that right now. We have traveled, we have worked, we have ministered, and every now and again, we need a drink, praise the Lord. And God offers us living water this morning and the bread of life hallelujah not bread from the shops that we eat and we are done and we need to go back for more not bottled water and it runs out and we need another bottle but we, i'm talking about living water praise the lord and the bread of life who is jesus christ this morning this was this widow did not know that this was the day of her encounter this was the day of her breakthrough praise the lord Let's read on. She says, we are going to eat. My son and I, I'm going to bake this little flour and this little oil and this two sticks. I'm going to bake. And you know what? After that, it, we've, we've used up all our supplies. It's, you know, it's in the middle of a famine. It's in the, we're in the middle of a global pandemic. There's COVID all around us. There's no employment, no job, no schools. And there's no way, you know, we're going to get, you know, um, you know, we, we're going to be able to get back to work anytime soon. Praise the Lord. But God had other things in mind for this woman in the name of Jesus. And God has other things in mind for you and I this morning. Praise the Lord. Today can very well be your day of breakthrough if only you and I will trust and obey the Lord today. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Elijah said to her, fear not, fear not. Praise the Lord. Don't be afraid. Be at rest. Be at peace. Hallelujah. Because God's eyes are set on you this morning. Fear not. Just go in and do as you have, as you have said. But make me a little cake of it first. Hallelujah. And one thing we can learn here is whatever we do today, Whatever we do this week and this new month of August, learn to put God first in your life and in your family. Whether you're working, whether you are doing business, operating out of your home, or you are serving in ministry, let's learn to put God first in our lives. Like the man of God, encouraged, he encouraged, he inspired this woman. He tried to influence her to walk in the ways of the Lord. This, this woman was a Gentile, and you know that uh, Zarephath was the center of Baal worship. They worship idols, and this woman was a Gentile, praise the Lord, and she spot, when she spotted Elijah, she knew immediately that this man is not one of us. This man is the man of God, praise the Lord, hallelujah. Elijah said to her, fear not, and I hope and I pray and I trust that today, you know, that we will be the voice of God. We will be salt. We will be light in, the, in our places, uh, in the communities, in our suburbs. Praise the Lord. Telling people, because there's so much fear. And tell it will be, God will use us to tell people, to show love, to show compassion. Praise the Lord. So that people will know and understand that there is no need to fear. There is no fear in God, praise the Lord, because God does not give us the spirit of fear, nor does he give us the spirit of timidity, but the spirit of power and the spirit of love and the spirit of sound judgment, hallelujah, so that we're able to live life today, we are able to succeed, we are able to see breakthrough, recognize breakthrough, know and taste bre breakthrough, praise the Lord. And not only that, that we can continue to expect breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Fear not. Go and do as you have said, but make me a little cake first and bring it to me. And afterward, prepare some for you and your son. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. God is teaching God here is, um, you know, God spoke to my heart and taught me a lesson. I've been pondering upon this, uh, these scriptures for some, 
for some time now. And each time I open up the word to read, you know, there's new revelation and fresh revelation. And God has helped me. I have not arrived. I continue to pray that God will help me in this area, that I will put God first that I will lay everything aside when it's time to pray and I feel like sleeping, when it's time to, to read the word and I am hungry, that I will set everything aside by the grace of God and put him first in my life. Hallelujah. For thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, the jar of meal shall not waste away. Exciting, exciting. This, these few verses really excite me. The jar of meal shall not waste away or the bottle of oil fail until the day that the Lord sends rain on the earth. Three and a half years, three and a half years, I find, found out that there was no rain for three and a half years. Hallelujah. This handful of flour, this jar half full of oil and the two sticks did not run out as according to the word of the Lord. And if there is something that we need to take to heart today, something that we need to hold on to daily, something that we need to, to guard, that is the word of God. Praise the Lord. Because this miracle, this breakthrough did not happen any other way, but according to the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. She did, as Elijah said, this amazing widow, Praise the Lord. This amazing widow. God did not choose a wealthy woman or a wealthy family. God did not use the learned. God didn't use an able man. He used a widow. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And she and um, she did as Elijah said. She was obedient. She listened. She trusted and she chose to obey. She chose, she determined within her heart. She knew within her heart, this is my day of breakthrough. I'm not going to allow this opportunity pass. I'm going to grab this opportunity. I'm going to trust in God today, hallelujah. The God of the Israelites, hallelujah. Glory be to God. And she knew and she knew and she was not moved. And what happens? Because she trusted, because she obeyed, she and the man of God and her entire household ate for many days. The jar of meal was not spent according to the word of the Lord, nor did the bottle of oil fail according to the word of the Lord. And the word of the Lord, according to the word which the Lord spoke through Elijah. Praise the Lord. According to the word that God spoke through Elijah, his servant. Hallelujah. She sowed a seed by trusting and obeying. You know, you'll find out later. I will not go there. In the very next verse, in verse 17, her son falls ill. Praise the Lord. And the seed that she, she sowed into the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Because of her obedience. Hallelujah. God healed her son. God healed her son. Her son was healed because this mother, she, she took the step of faith. Praise the Lord. She laid everything aside. She laid her idols aside. She laid the knowledge of her gods aside. She laid her family aside by baking the bread and offering it to the man of God. Praise the Lord. She put God first. She learned, she determined within, us, within her heart that she was going to obey the word of the Lord. And when there was famine everywhere in the land for three years, this widow of Zarephath, her story is recorded in the Bible for you and I today so that we will read, we will meditate upon it, we will believe the word of God above every other word that we have believed in the past or every other word that has been spoken about, uh, spoken about us or spoken over us in the name of Jesus. And we will take the word of God to heart. Hallelujah. For our breakthrough in Jesus' name. So when there was hunger and when there was thirst, when the brooks and the rivers had dried up, when there was no corn, there was no wheat, there was no bread, praise the Lord. This widow and Elijah 
and her son and her entire household, they had food to eat until God sent rain upon the land. How did, it, how did that happen? Because she chose to listen, to trust, and to obey God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I've come to, um, I should be stopping right now. I've reached the, my time and I trust and I believe that um, we all were blessed by the reading of the word today. Shall we just pray? Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word. Thank you, Spirit of the living God, for directing our hearts and our spirits today, helping us to understand your word helping us to listen, to listen, to pay attention. Sometimes it's difficult for us to pay attention, to stop for a moment, to be still and to know that you are God. Father, help us today, O oh God, the beginning of another new day, that we will stop, that we will be still, that we will hearken, O oh God, we will listen to your voice and not only listen, O oh God, as we have received your word, Lord, we'll meditate upon it, we will we will obey, O oh God, and step out in faith, O oh God, because we know that our breakthrough is at is hand, O oh God. Thank you for the story of breakthrough, O oh God, the breakthrough in the life of this widow who enjoyed, who celebrated multiple breakthroughs in the mighty name of Jesus because of her obedience and her willingness and her commitment, O oh God, towards you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your people, O oh God. I pray, O oh God, that today is well. They will enjoy breakthrough in their homes and their place of work and their country of residence, oh God. That breakthrough will be their portion today. Some of them have waited for years, Lord, but we thank you that those who wait on the Lord will renew their strength. They will walk and not be weary. They will run and not faint, oh God. Only, Lord, teach us to wait today in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you and we praise you. We honor you and we adore you. We give back to you all the glory, all the honor and all the praises for it is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.